you know what I'd like? I'd like to be able to compose myself a little better. Uh, I'd like not to look, look so goofy, you know? I'd like that. But, uh... It varies, I'm, 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 because uh, I feel like I'm affected, you know, by certain things in the environment. You know, I'm, I'm not able to uh, be, be I, I'm not very secure in the, uh, in the, inv- I like, I, I would call it. I guess my social status, and uh, I think things, I think there is a collective unconscious, I think it does affect me, I think it affects everyone, you know, and people, my, my own brother says I'm grandiose, but uh, the fact that society and the world and, and uh, reality affects everyone, I would say that's pretty grandiose, and I think he's referring to the level in which I resist it. Maybe that's grandiose. I don't know. Uh, I guess. Because I, 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 do, I do resist it constantly. And, and I, it's really important. Maybe, maybe the level of importance I put on it, on resisting it, uh, is grandiose. Maybe that's what he's saying. I don't know. But I, I would like to be more composed, uh, not so affected by it. But I guess what I, I was really going to talk about uh, was what's going on, what what upsets me so much, and what affects. I mean, what they're doing in the world that really, really, I think, is uh, causing problems for for a lot of people. Uh, A lot of people are upset about it. Uh, And I wonder if, why they do it. Not, not, why why the people that do these things that are changing things so much, why they're doing it, you know. But, uh, I'm going to use a specific scenario to try to, and maybe in another one that might support it, uh, idea, or, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, what they're doing as far as, uh, Sorry, wait for the cars to go by. Uh, the uh, the influx in homosexual acceptance and activity and whatever you know how it's increasing. You know, not just the acceptance, but people deciding to give up their their way. A lot. You know, it have a change of heart. You know. If they weren't raised that way, then they're coming out and having a change of heart, you know, is, is what, what I've had it referred to, uh, you know, I mean, that's kind of what it is, I mean, it's giving up, and if you, if you're fighting, it's for a reason, if you give up, and you come out, you know, you're, you are having a change of heart. You're no longer resisting. You're, you're no longer trying to do what you resist. Or they call it denial. You know? Uh, it is a denial. of, and, and it's not a bad thing. It's a denial of things that you do not like. You know? That you do resist. It's a denial of it. And if you don't like what they're doing, 
you can deny it, right? But they, they, they say it in a man, they do it a lot. They say things that are just fine in a negative way, you know? Put a spin on it. But what, you know, Stan Lee and his whole Marvel Comics thing, pretty, it was pretty decent, you know, throughout my childhood. I, I always, I, I, I never, I, there was only one particular character I really paid attention to, you know, Wolverine. Uh, I, somebody's, before I even was aware, I paid attention to comics, someone said, you should check out Wolverine. Maybe they thought I would like that or something. I was pretty young, and uh, but yeah, that that got me into that particular comic, and I did it did influence my art skill. Mark Silvestri, he did Wolverine for a time. He's the one because that actually got me back into comics. You know, Wolverine comics, and uh, but what they're doing, I'm after Stanley sold his uh, the rights to uh, Disney for Marvel. I mean, Disney is changing it, and uh, I mean for a time they Stan when Stanley was still alive. They, they were depicting it pretty accurately. It had the same spirit, you know, it, 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 the same energy that I would expect, pretty close anyways, for a Marvel comic. But now we have, uh, like, a specific video I saw. The Eternals, I think, is what it's called. See, I, I, I'm surprised I know anything about this new stuff because I, I, I didn't really pay attention to a lot of the old stuff, but it, it, it's, it's, it, it, it pertains to what is happening as far as uh, what's going on in the world, what I've experienced and, and the changes. And I find it very... Uh, it's just bad. It's it's what they're doing is manipulation, okay? Because they're not they're taking a franchise that already has a fan base and trying to push change onto that fan base. They're not catering to what people want or would like. They're actually pushing it out. And the reason I say that is because it is a fan base. I mean, a franchise that already has a fran fan base, which is what they do. Uh, instead of creating something new for a new fan base that likes, that, that has a need, instead of catering to a need that a f of a certain type of people, People, these new new uh, people that that are in the world that you know they're actually pushing it out by taking over a fan base and changing it. They're they're changing people. Okay, they're not just catering. They're they're not just uh, pr providing something that there's a need or want for. You know, and and that. I, I, I noticed that before in other things like the show Roseanne. It's a family show, right? That's the way it started. It's a show about a family. But after a certain point, they start focusing, they bring in these uh, homosexual characters, and that is like a big part of the show, you know? And, that, and that's like not a family-oriented show anymore. They're actually trying to push that those ideas out. They're not just... I don't think they're just catering or providing. I think they're actually trying to change, you know, people that, you know, 
you know, up until that, up until that, you know, they, 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 uh, once, once people really get into the show and are pretty, uh, pretty into it, then they change it up, you know, and that's what they're, they're I think they're using a lot of things for that, because they're not creating a new franchise which is geared towards people who uh, are already that way. They're actually changing things, you know. And I, I, I think that's wrong. I think that is very uh, manipulative. It's it's kind of what do you call it? I uh, can't think of a word to describe it right now, but. Uh, Yeah, I think they're doing that a lot. I think they're they're forcing, they're they're, they're manipulating things uh, to, to get with you know a desired change or or what what they want. You know. But yeah, this these new Marvel show. I for a time I I don't think they can do it yet. I think they want to, but they want to. They want to make a female Thor, you know, which Thor is like the very symbol of masculinity, all right? That's what I'm talking about, you know, that, that, that's like a very obvious uh, kind of uh, scenario or whatever, but... <coughs> They're destroying every everything that I, is I value and find important at at at, at the very ba- most basic level, you know. You know that that is what is happening in the world. You know, it, there's this change, and I'm I'm completely I've been opposed to it since I became aware of it. You know. Since probably before, you know, I, I even realized, or was really affected by it. I mean, it was who I was prior to being affected by it. So that is why I'm so opposed to it, you know. to say right now, but I like saying it, <laughs> nobody, uh, nobody will talk to me because of the things I, I talk about, you know, things that are important, because... I don't think it's just because they're important, but because you're not, society doesn't want you talking about, society is superficial, you have to put on whatever it wants, you have to be the way it wants in order to have good social standing, you know, it's almost criminal to not do that. according to, you know, the way the world is, not because I say so, but because they say so, you know, uh, you, you know, you know how life is but a dream, according to, uh, well, the basics, you know, children's rhymes like row your boat down the stream and life is but a dream. It, I think it truly is. Uh, and to hold on to your own dream, your, you know, your own experience is if, if, if you have a dream, you, you, you know, 
you're, uh, that, that's life, you know. But, uh, I don't, th I don't think you just row your boat down the stream. I think... I think you should row against the stream, you know, to keep your dream alive, you know? Your individual experience, I think. I think uh, if we all had the same dream, it'd be pretty uninteresting to have a conversation with anyone. You know, because we'd all be doing the same exact thing. And Pro perhaps the problem with that is the collective unconscious, which is what allows us to all share the same dream. Uh, the problem with that is. I think uh, when two people share a dream, I mean, I mean, when sh their personal dreams, when they talk about their own story and their own life and their own dreams, there can be a conflict, and one could overtake the other to a certain extent. Uh, but. I think if you have the right mindset and the right people, you know, people can talk about things that are important to them and stuff without, I mean, without giving up to someone else. It's not like, the, it's kind of, it, it feels like this world is, you know, maybe, maybe, and, but, uh, I mean, it feels like there's a competition for uh, control of the collective unconscious and, and, the, and, and, and the dream, which I don't even want to be involved with. I don't want to be affected by, but I want my own individual experience because it's more interesting and really gives me reason to go on, you know, but... I mean, if I wanted to uh, talk, to, I mean, if I wanted this hard shit to go on and I just wanted to keep talking to myself, then I might do that. But uh, I'd rather, you know, share experiences, differing experiences, you know, in a good manner, in a friendly, you know, no, comp no, no competition kind of manner. Like, hey, that's your experience? I like, I, 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 this is my experience. Yours is cool. You know, how, you know what, do you, what do you think about mine? Kind of thing. Not, uh, I'm going to dominate your experience due to, to protect my own, you know, kind of thing. It should be a, an environment where people can be free to express their own experience without some collective unconscious, you know, without a collective, without competition. Uh, it would just be a better environment, you know. It's, it's not going that direction for me. I don't think, some, I don't think the, whole, the world is, is that way, the, the way I, that I, I think would be good. You know? Competition. The fact, I mean... I just, I, I'd like to end on a high note with this conversation, but I don't, I don't, uh, there's not a lot of high notes to, to, to end on, <laughs> I guess, I don't know, uh, I, I don't say these things because I want, 
I want to tell people how to live or anything I, or what to do. I say these things because I don't, I'm talking about what I don't like, you know, what's affecting me, what's trying to overtake my life. And I don't, you know, I just don't like it. I'd like to, I'd like things to be better. All right. Bye.